Please Kill Me, The Uncensored Oral History of Punk, by Legs McNeil is a captivating exploration of the punk movement that emerged in the 1970s. This oral history provides a raw and unfiltered look into the origins, evolution, and impact of punk rock, as recounted by the individuals who lived it. McNeil's book serves as a time machine, transporting readers to the gritty streets of New York City, where punk took root. The narrative is woven together from interviews, anecdotes, and personal recollections of musicians, artists, writers, and other key figures who were at the forefront of the movement. Through their voices, a vivid and unapologetic picture of the punk scene emerges, reflecting the rebellious spirit and disillusionment of the era. The book paints a vivid portrait of punk's birthplace, the legendary CBGB club. This grungy venue becomes a central character, as it provided a platform for unknown bands like the Ramones, Blondie, and the Talking Heads to showcase their music. The descriptions of CBGB's atmosphere, with its sweat-soaked walls and eclectic crowd, transport the reader to a time when punk was a genuine subculture, unburdened by commercialism. The oral history format lends the book an intimate and immediate quality, allowing readers to experience the whirlwind of emotions and upheavals that defined the punk movement. From the nihilistic energy of the Sex Pistols to the experimental sounds of Patti Smith, the book delves into the diverse range of influences that converged under the punk umbrella. Drug addiction, poverty, and urban decay are recurring themes that shaped the lives of many involved, underscoring the gritty reality behind the music. McNeil doesn't shy away from the darker aspects of punk, including the self-destructive behaviors and inner conflicts of its icons. Sid Vicious' tragic downfall and the overdose of Johnny Thunders are stark reminders of the toll that fame and excess can take. These accounts add depth to the book, steering it away from glorification and presenting a more holistic view of the punk movement. The oral history also highlights the role of women in punk, giving voice to trailblazers like Debbie Harry, Patti Smith, and Lydia Lunch. While the scene was predominantly male, these women challenged norms and left an indelible mark on punk's ethos. The book underscores the empowering nature of punk, offering a space for individuals to express their identities and challenge societal conventions. However, the narrative's loose structure can occasionally make it challenging to follow the chronology of events. The book's strength lies in its collection of first-hand accounts, but this can also lead to repetition and overlapping perspectives. While this adds authenticity, it may require readers to piece together a coherent timeline. In conclusion, Please Kill Me is a visceral journey through the underbelly of punk rock. Legs McNeil's commitment to preserving the unfiltered voices of those who lived through the movement is commendable, offering readers a ringside seat to the raucous evolution of punk. The book captures the rawness, urgency, and sheer audacity that defined the era, making it an invaluable resource for anyone interested in the history of music, counterculture, and rebellion.